everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a little bit of binder admin i have a few things that i need to set up for not everything is comeback related some things are just expanding some collections that i already have so yeah i just figured i would lump everything together and do one video on it i don't really have anything to like film right now other than this i don't have anything to unbox i don't have enough cards to do a storing photo cards video so i figured this would be a good kind of like filler video in between obviously there are things coming a lot of comebacks are about to start happening so i'm really excited about that but for now we are just going to set up for everything in my binders so the first thing i'm gonna do today is in my pre-order benefit binder so let's start here okay so we are going to start with jaehyun today i I'm going to reorganize his perfume section in this binder. I took all of the fillers out that I had and I kind of just want to reorganize it a little bit. So let me grab a template. Okay, I feel like the template is gonna mess a little bit with the lighting, but I'll try and fix it um, when I'm editing. But this is the perfume template that I'm currently using. It is by this user on Twitter, SSW Pride. This is a very comprehensive template. They also have the same template for Doyoung or Jungwoo if you're in need. Um, I really, really like this template. I think they did a really good job with it. So I just kind of want to go in order of the pops that they have here and just put in my fillers. I have made more fillers um, because I'm gonna collect him a little bit more extensively for this era. So yeah, I just kind of want to organize it again and I figured I would just film it. So we're just going to start with the first row here. So these are all pre-order benefits and I think I had these laid out correctly to begin with. So we have K-Town with Moo. SM Town. Have Mix Star, Apple Music, and Music Plant. And then we have both of the Mumo photo cards. And then I'm going to do the Yes24 launch event photo card. I'm just going to go in order of the template. I don't know if this template is in chronological order, like how the cards were released, but I'm just going to go off of this template. Okay, and then we get into the Lucky Draws and Fan Sign photo cards. So this will be the With Moo Lucky Draw. Some of these I have secured and some of these I have not. I was initially not going to collect these, all of these, because I thought they were kind of boring, but now here I am collecting all of them. So this will be the fan sign card. And then for Soundwave, I have the Soundwave card actually, so I'm not going to make a filler for it, but I'm going to need his fan sign event card. And then Everline, Lucky Draw and fan sign. And then SM Town and Store Lucky Draw and fan sign. And then to finish off this page, I'm gonna put his Hot Tracks launch event photo card. So there's that, so that'll be another full page. And then this last page, I think I'm gonna do a seven layout. So I'm not doing any of the units. I'm not collecting the Hot Tracks cards because they're concept cards and I don't really care about them. Um, but I did join a group order for Bandina. So there's a selfie and a Polaroid. So I'm gonna put the selfie up top and then I'm gonna do the Polaroid in the middle because um, I did get the postcard book merch, so it comes with the selfie and the Polaroid, so I'm gonna put the selfie in the middle, because this is honestly one of my favorite Jaehyun photo cards, and then I'm gonna put the Polaroid here, so then the Polaroids are in the same row together. And then the last three are gonna be these three, um, so we have the Everline fan sign, 
the music plant fan sign and then the unboxing event card so i'm gonna put the unboxing card up top here because i think it's really really pretty and then i'm just gonna do everline down here and music plant here there is definitely more that i could collect to make this a full page like where are they they did a shoppy fan sign there's a masima card and i know they've done i think like two rounds of yzy and they might do more but for now i'm just gonna leave it at this because i don't have like any of those secured and i don't know if slash when i will find like these cards so these are just the cards that i either have on the way have joined a group order for or that i'm like pretty confident i'll be able to get um like on mercari japan or poke market or something so yes that was all i wanted to do for okay next i want to reorganize my doje jung section um because i do want to set up to collect the box version of the album fully who is surprised <laughs> probably no one but yeah so i'm just gonna take these cards out these were my original pulls for the box version and i already set up a page here for them so I have these and then I have this one that was in my Jaehyun mini binder and then I have this filler for Jaehyun. So I don't really know how I want to set these up. Um, I think I want to do this one up here. And this one down here. I actually think these two work well together in a set. And then I'm actually, I'm gonna keep this Jungwoo with this set as well. And then these other cards I will get eventually. I have this Jaehyun and one of Jungwoo's on the way, but everything else I will need to buy. Um, but this isn't like a super high priority collection. I'll just buy them as I see them, or I'll trade for them. I think I have these on my wish list now, so yes. Uh, so much has happened in N City since I last filmed. Oh my god. I was so shocked about the Suntaro news and Shohei not debuting. Like, it has been a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Shohei was actually the member that I was planning on collecting for the new NCT unit. And now that he is not debuting at all, like not even with the SM new boy group that Sontaro are gonna debut in with the rest of the rookies, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Like as sad as I am that Sontaro have left NCT, I am very happy that they are finally going to be debuting officially. They deserve it. I can't believe it's been this long and they have not debuted yet. Um, and obviously like, Shohei is injured, so I, I hope that he is recovering. Like, obviously your health comes first, and I hope he's doing all right, but I don't know if we will ever see Shohei again, to be honest, which makes me really sad. Um, but again, like, health comes first, wellness comes first before everything else. But I've just kind of been thinking, because I honestly don't think I'm going to collect the SM New Boy group, and I don't think I'm going to collect anyone from the NCT Tokyo unit now that they're, I think they're making it like a survival show type of thing. I don't like survival shows. I won't be watching if that's what they end up doing. And yeah, I just don't think I'll be collecting anyone from the new unit. Um, Cause I was, I was like pretty set on Shohei. But so I was thinking like what else I could do because I was all prepared in my mind to collect a new member of NCT. And I was thinking, just put this in. What if I collected Hechan for Dream and I collected Mahe? I don't know. Am I insane for wanting to do that? I don't think it would be that hard. I don't know. Hechan collectors sound out in the comments like, would it be hard to collect Hechan for Dream? And then I was thinking I could put the two of them in a little A5 binder. I love how two members look in an A5. I just think that could be really cute. And yeah, I don't know. I've just been thinking about it. Someone talk me off this cliff that I'm about to dive into. <laughs> yeah, if you see a Heichan template on my Instagram, you know, that's just, that's just where I'm at. 
but yes this is the setup now it will look better when i have more cards but we all knew i was gonna end up doing this so it's not really a shock and then i just made this into like the s minis and then the group photo cards so yeah that was pretty simple and then lastly for this binder i want to set up for taeyong's solo debut oh my god it's happening the day after i am filming this and I'm so excited. It's called Sha La La. We got the music video teaser today and it looks so good. It is going to be a galactic sleigh. I already know. And I am planning on collecting Taeyong. I'm not going to be collecting Taeyong fully. Well, I say that now, but I actually, I don't know if I'm going to be collecting Taeyong fully. I might, depending on like the resale value of his cards. Like, I don't know how expensive these cards are going to be, but I did actually just do my pre-orders yesterday. So I got all of my orders in and basically what I'm doing is I pre-ordered the archive version from K-Town for you to get one of the K-Town pops. I ordered the collector version from Makestar to get one of the Makestar pobs, and then I ordered the Thorn version from Apple Music to get one of the Apple Music pobs, and then I also ordered the S Mini to um, to get an S Mini photo card because I really like the S Minis and his looks so cool, so I really wanted it. Um, I didn't get the Digi Pack because. I don't know, y'all know how I feel about digipacks. I don't really like them. So yes, I have four versions on the way and I'll be getting three pre-order benefits with my copies. So I'm gonna do a seven layout. Um, let me just put these in first, but yes, I am so excited to listen to the album. I think I'm going to love it from what we have heard so far. And I'm just, I'm so proud of him. Like he was really involved in this process and you can tell that he worked really hard to bring this album to life and I'm just I'm really excited to support him and yes I did ship these albums to my Korean address so I will not be getting them for months probably to be honest this is gonna be the first thing that, that gets to my Kaddy. Um, so I'll be like building up an order to ship out so yeah I won't be doing an unboxing or anything but once I get that um Kaddy package I'll open them in a collective haul or something don't really know how to organize this. Like what if I pulled that card and it throws off everything? Um, I don't know, I guess I'll just put them in this order. So I'll put the archive version up here and then the collector version and then the foreign version and then the S mini. I think that's what I'll do. And yeah, this is my little setup for Sha La La so far. Um, again, so excited to listen to the album. I think it's going to be amazing. So that was it for NCT today. This was mostly NCT, I'm not going to lie. But we do have one other group to set up for. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so yes, we are in my Jaehyun binder, but we are not setting up for Jaehyun. For anything in here, at least. Um, I am going to be setting up for ATs. So ATs is having a comeback in like two weeks, I think. And I'm really, really excited. My journey as an at -nee, you know, it started out very casual and I feel like I still am like in a casual phase with it, but now I'm actually starting to like collect Yunho a little bit more. Um, and this comeback just made me really excited. I'm really excited to hear the album and everything, but can I just say, you must need to have like a degree in rocket science to figure out these album details because I was staring at this for so long. I was just so confused. I did not even know what was going on. And then they kept releasing, like they released a platform version, like, and that has a ton of cards. And I'm just like not really ready to commit to that for ATs. So what I decided to do was buy one of the photo book version albums and since I'm going to be buying that from Target, I'll have four cards and that's perfect because I am only collecting um, one fork pocket page per era for you know. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I decided to buy the Z version. I already ordered it off of Target because you could pick your version on Target, which was really surprising. So yes, this is the photo card situation. But again, I am getting the Z version and I did specifically pick the Z version because I want the bread photo card. 
um, that is very important to me and I get that. So I'm gonna get a brand photo card and I'm gonna get a sunglasses photo card, I think. If I've read this all correctly, I think that's what I will get since I got the Z version. So yes, we have that. And then because I ordered off of Target, I think I will be getting a T version photo card in my album. So it looks like they're saluting in these. It's gonna be super cute. And then I will get the US exclusive as well. And it looks like they are like resting their head on their hand. So that's gonna be cute as well. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on collecting, just those four photo cards. I'm gonna make it nice and easy for myself this time. And I'm super excited. This is my first time collecting ATs like while the comeback is happening. So I'm super excited. And I am a little nervous, not gonna lie. But I feel like there's a lot of ATs collectors out there. So hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to trade for, you know? But you know, we'll see what happens. So yeah, I just have the bread photo card, the glasses photo card, the US exclusive and the Target exclusive. And that will be my little collection for this era. This is really like my first attempt at doing a collection casually and not collecting everything. And I really hope that I can like stick this out and make this work because yeah, I think my little, you know, collection is super cute. Like it's not big at all. It's just like, a fun little thing that I work on from time to time. But yeah, that was actually all I had to set up for today. Pretty quick. I'm super excited about everything that's about to start dropping. I can't wait. This is gonna be such a fun time and obviously we're getting an NCT Dream comeback soon, so that's exciting. And Shiny is coming back. That is so exciting. So yeah, lots to look forward to, but that is it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon in another one soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.